A sign at the entrance to this playground at Little Norway Park clearly states no dogs allowed in. But police say it is here that a dog viciously attacked on Saturday morning, biting and dragging a child to the ground. Police say the dog's owner, 38-year-old Patricia Sierek, fled the park after the incident. A lot of the blame is on the woman for having her dog off leash, you know, in a non-designated area. Sierek was arrested Sunday and faces multiple charges, including criminal negligence causing bodily harm and failing to ensure a dangerous dog is muzzled at all times off the owner's property. One of the aggravating factors would be certainly that her dog was already labeled a dangerous dog under the animals bylaw. You know if you should let your dog off it or not, and it's your responsibility for the safety of your dog and others. The director of animal services for the city says currently there are 450 dogs under an active dangerous dog order. And of that total, staff estimate approximately 10% are related to a very severe injury or mauling. Court documents reviewed by Global News show the dog owner had previously been kicked out of a condo building in Etobicoke where she lived with two American pocket bullies, both who'd been designated dangerous by the city. One of them had been involved in a previous incident in an elevator in December of 2021 where another dog and its owner had been attacked. The issue here is that the tenants keep dogs that they do not train or control to avoid mauling people or others' pets. The dogs have been labeled dangerous by the city, yet the tenants have let the dogs roam the halls. We need to be better at keeping our dogs on leashes and, you know, probably having a bit more of a handle on them. The child who was attacked suffered serious, life-altering injuries. This father, who lives close by, says he feared this could happen. And it happens to me many times when I walk with my children right here around this area, that they leave their dogs, walk freely, and some dogs are kind, but others are dangerous. The dog has been seized by Toronto Animal Services. And let me tell you about the message coming from the Toronto Humane Society about the importance of early training and socialization to try and mitigate some of these more aggressive behaviors in animals and also a reminder to pet owners to please adhere to leash regulations in parks like this one. And Alan, I'll let you know that in the last hour, we've seen some bylaw officers who've been walking around this park giving that kind of information to pet owners. That must be some comfort for parents. Thank you, Karen.